We're here today to announce yet another exciting new addition to the locomotion models range and to the national collection in miniature. It's possible because Batman have retooled the locomotive. They've had one in their range for a number of years. It's not been available recently. And the reason for that is that Backman have completely retooled it up to today's modern standards. And so this gives us another opportunity to introduce the V2 into the national collection in miniature. The V2 as a class has been a part of the Batman branch line range since the early days of the company really. Um, there's been numerous releases over the years. Um, a few years ago a new chassis was developed for the model to bring it up to um, latest specification in terms of having DCC compatibility. Um, however, we've taken the opportunity to overhaul the model from scratch now to produce a, an all new model with uh, the latest features and specification um, and that's now progressing through um, to see it arrive in 2021. So the new locomotive um, is specified similarly to most Batman branch line models that are currently in development. It's got a 21 pin DCC decoder, pre-fitted speaker and the model's actually got a firebox lighting system which provides um, a single light on analog control and when a decoder is fitted it can be configured to um, offer a, a flickering effect as well with two different coloured lights. Um, it's got pickups throughout, um, a connection between the locomotive and tender which um, provides the electrical connections needed for DCC operations um, and in terms of the body, the chassis, it's all very finely proportioned to the real thing. Um, features like sprung buffers, a lot of separately fitted components like the handrails. Um, and a lot of variations across the, the models to depict different class members at different times in their operating lives. So we've recently received the first livery samples for the V2 class locomotives and delighted to show the two examples that are being produced for locomotion models. These both cover the preserved locomotive, Green Arrow, in its LNER livery or BR Lakecrest livery. And they're both quite striking models, capturing the details of the real locomotive um, with the correct tooling combination of detailed parts, we've got things like the original style um, cylinder fronts. We've got the later high monoblock smoke box saddle um, present on both locomotives there. Green Arrow in BR Green livery has got the smoke box number plate here with the higher lamp bracket, whereas the LNER livery has no smoke marks number plate and the lower lamp bracket, so details there specific to the 
the eras that the locomotive has been made up to represent in preservation. As the models depict preserved locomotives, the motioned wheels have been finished with a, a polished silver finish. Uh, likewise, the buffers at the front, the buffers are sprung, and at the back as well on both locomotives, polished and sprung buffers. Uh, the models feature a new coupling system between the locomotive and tender. This one's an uh, unmotorised sample, and we can see there the workings of the close coupling mechanism on the locomotive to tender drawbar. There's a five pole motor fitted, and there's pickups on both the locomotive and tender wheels too. For DCC modellers, there's going to be a speaker fitted as well, so it's going to be easy to add your own sound to these models. So the first model for Rails of Sheffield is number 4843, the King's Own Yorkshire Light Infantry. That's in LNER condition. Um, obvious omission from the livery sample here is the nameplates themselves. Um, they'll be in preparation at the moment and obviously included on the final product. Um, we have on this example, again, the later high monoblock smoke watch saddle. We also have the later cylinder fronts, which um, are sort of the tails at the front of the cylinders there. Um, distinguished from Green Arrow, um, which had the original style. Uh, the model features sprung buffers. Uh, these will be silver on the finished version. Uh, on the front, we do have uh, obviously no number plate. The lower smoke box top lamp bracket. Uh, and again, there are details on the livery sample, which will be changed on the final version with some silver straps and handle on the smoke box door being added. Uh, on the tender of the locomotive we've got the high fronted version and this has a low rear so you can see um, the different types that we've modelled on the, the V2. So the final example here today is the second version we're producing exclusively for Rails of Sheffield. This is number 60964 Durham Light Infantry carrying BR Brunswick Green livery with Lake Crest. Again there's no nameplate fitted at present but that will be included with the final model. We do have on this version as it's in BR condition the smoke box number plate and the higher lamp bracket there. And we've got the later high monoblock smoke box saddle and it also has the later style cylinder fronts here. Looking at the tender again we have the high front version and this is with a high rear as well, so you'll notice the difference there from the NER model and the two versions of Green Arrow. A final note on this model is the buffer tubes, which are currently black, but they'll be red on the finished versions, just like the prototype. And we can take a look in the cab, and we see that there's a wealth of detail in there, all fully decorated, and that will be the same for all four models. And also a final note on the Durham Light Infantry, we do have an additional boiler washout plug on the edge of the firebox here. Uh, a feature that is not unique to this locomotive, but it is a feature that doesn't show itself on Green Arrow or the King's Own Yorkshire Light Infantry. Um, so it's just another tooling option that we've incorporated um, to give full fidelity to the models. Well, we're delighted that uh, uh, jointly the partnership has agreed to uh, do four models of the V2. The locomotive behind me is a particular one I'm particularly fond of, and I've had uh, uh, many experiences uh, with this locomotive, both on the footplate and on the main line. Um, so it, it holds uh, uh, a lot of fond memories. Um, alongside the museum's version of Green Arrow in its LNER and uh, BR liveries, uh, rails are also uh, doing two versions of the V2. One is 4843, uh, King's Own Yorkshire Light, Light Infantry, which has got a nice link to the museum's Deltic of the same name, from which the V2 gave up its name to uh, uh, be applied to the Deltic. And then there's a second locomotive uh, of uh, the, the second V2, uh, 60964 Durham Light Infantry, with shed code 52A, which I think was Gateshead. And that again has got really nice links here to, uh, to the museum, to County Durham. Uh, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of interest in that. And that will be in the BR uh, green with the Lake Crest. I was delighted to see the livery samples. Uh, all four of them look spectacular. 
I think this is a really, really important uh, product for Backman overall with the V2 class. It was ever popular and sold historically very well. It's long in need of an update and this model excels. It really does excel. Uh, once again, the livery application is superb. Uh, we've, uh, we're absolutely delighted with, uh, with the product that we've seen so far. And again, we're looking forward to relatively early production in the new year uh, with delivery in the spring.